music going. Oh, here it goes. Now, Hi, everyone. Now we're We've got our theme music going. Thank you. Happy so, Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. I am John. And I am Renee. And this is Mindset Live, everybody. It is great to be here. Uh, hey, Cancer, uh, Cancer Fashionista. It's great to see you. Uh, thanks for joining. Yes, um, I'm Melissa. Um, okay, so we're so going to turn yeah. the theme music off now. Okay, and that's off. Anyway, we have a great show today. Yes. We have Chris Stockel. He is really a visionary in the wellness uh, business. He is the founder um, of Mind Body Project, which is this incredibly beautiful boutique studio uh, in Manhattan. Uh, and Chris uh, is going to come on. Uh, and he is going to uh, join us uh, through yeah, the Mind Body Project. Uh, he's joining us now, so let's bring him right on, and uh, let's talk to him. Yeah. And I'll introduce him a little bit after we get him on board. Oh, yes, Melissa, we sent out your gummies today. <laughs> yes, the gummy, gummies are up. Gummies are are now in the use. Hey guys. Hey. hey, Chris. How are you? Doing well. How about you? Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. So as I was telling the audience, I was introducing you. You are the founder, uh, the man himself who created Mind Body Project, which is uh, just one of the most beautiful and unique spaces in Manhattan and uh, and which is would would make it one of the most beautiful spaces in the world, potentially, because uh, Manhattan is yeah, uh, I mean, the center of the world. When you think about it, that's pretty incredible. You have one of the most beautiful studios in Manhattan. Like... Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm I'm biased, but I, but I also agree. <laughs> no, it really really is. It's unbelievable. It, it it's truly what you did. I I can't even imagine like where that came from. <laughs> it's Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So so let's jump right in. Sure. Um, I mean, there's so much to talk about with you. Your mindset is so amazing. Um, but as the founder of Mind Body Project. It's more than just a studio. It's a concept, you know. It's a whole way of looking at wellness in a whole new way, uh, combining meditation with high intensity interval training. So, explain how that came about. What was the emphasis and the impetus, excuse me, for that concept? Yeah. So, um, it all comes from a personal place for me. Um, you know, meditation has been instrumental in helping me address some of my own mental health struggles throughout the years. Um, and then high intensity interval training also was an incredible outlet for me to utilize to, to help, um, you know, kind of uh, be present in the moment um, and just be focused on task at hand because I find that high intensity interval training classes are so strenuous that you really don't have time or, or the ability to overanalyze or think outside of that moment. So I had these these two disciplines that, you know, meant so much to me and helped me so much. And I, you know, if everything that we hear about the mind body connection is true, why not combine the two in one experience um, and create a new modality that, um, you know, addresses both physical fitness needs as well as the mental health component that meditation can help address. Wow. I love that so much. So not only is that an incredible concept, but I've seen it now in real life happen. I mean, it's incredible. I've been to the classes. I've seen this transformation in people. It is incredible to see. Uh, and that really leads us, you know, into, I understand what, what, what it was you wanted to share. What were you doing prior to this, that, that, that this was the journey that you decided to, to, to take everyone with you on? Yeah, so I worked in um, I worked in digital media for for about ten years. Um, I worked uh, mostly in a sales leadership role across like startup um, tech companies, and um, you know I had a, I had a good run, and I very much appreciate my my former industry, and I learned so much, especially in terms of um, working with people, managing people. Um, but eventually, I I got to this place where I wanted to chase my passion a bit more. Um, like I said earlier, you know, meditation and HIT were just so um, helpful for me. And I was like, I need to do something with this idea. 
from a business perspective, I also saw a gap in the marketplace. I didn't see anyone else who was combining those two disciplines in one experience. So, you know, I, I kind of cold turkey up and left my former industry. Um, it was certainly scary. It was, um, you know, it, 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 uh, it was a big leap, but I've never been so happy about a decision in my life. And, yeah. you know, I really got down to, you know, starting to write a business plan. I was really very, um, very passionate and, and working very hard on this idea and how it could possibly come to life. And uh, yeah, it, it just kind of took off from there. Yeah, like once I, once I um, put the, the, the former industry behind me um, and I started to focus all my attention on Mind Body Project, things really moved quickly from there. Yeah, that's wow. amazing. I mean, your mindset. Just, it, it's incredible. It's yeah, such a such growth. It's a choose your mindset yeah, moment. It's a it is. It's a choose <laughs> your mindset moment. It really is incredible. Now, did you always meditate? Was that something? So I actually discovered meditation uh, in my, in my mid twenties. I'm 35 now. So I've been doing it for about 10 years. Um, and I've, I've always been someone who has had anxiety and has had bouts with depression and some substance abuse. So I've always been uh, seeking out uh, remedies, seeking out um, avenues that can help to, you know, address those, those issues for me. Yeah. And someone mentioned um, transcendental meditation, which is a specific type of meditation that I learned. Um, I did a training course on it. I got super into it. I was I was hooked right off right out of the gate, and um, yeah, from from there it just became part of my everyday um, process, my routine, and it really helps me in so many different ways. Um, mostly, it's it's being present. It's not thinking so much about the the past or the future, but trying as best we can to, to be present. So that's kind of what it does for me. But it it, it works on so many different levels. So do you meditate every day now still? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, transcendental meditation, actually, they typically it's 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the afternoon. I do find that um, also being like a business owner and, and uh, having a, a new fitness studio is, is demanding time wise. So if I, if I get one meditation in, I'm, I'm fine with that. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I try also every morning. I, I don't meditate at night. I should try and add that in, but I, I meditate every morning. Um, yeah. yeah. I take as much CBD as possible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my, my. Well, CBD and meditation, just like <laughs> fitness hand and hand. Meditation, it, it, meditation, it does go hands in hands. I really do think all of yeah. it. It's it, because it is mind, body. It's what you're putting in your body. It's what you're you know, consuming all over and, you know. No, no, it's exactly, listen, that's exactly it. That's why, you know, obviously uh, part of the excitement in this conversation uh, is, you know, we always had this connection when we, uh, we had the luxury of being able to, I guess you would say tour uh, a bunch of different places and, and Sorry, activate. our dog is like, <laughs> dog is she, wants this, she wants no this pillow. Worries. This is why she wants this Rip apart this pillow, and I'm just gonna remove it for one second. My 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 guy, my guy's behind me, passed out. Um, <laughs> I don't know what. I, is, I, I recommend it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the dog has CBD. I don't know what the story is. Um, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> okay, we were talking about that. We were doing a tour. Oh yeah, a tour. <laughs> and so and and we always felt whenever we whenever uh, my body project came up on the, the calendar, we always felt, oh my God, you know, we always looked forward to it. We always felt like we were home. I couldn't explain it better than that. We felt like, oh, we were home. We were amongst friends. We were amongst our tribe. We were where we were supposed to be. And so it was so exciting when uh, you uh, were generous enough to say, hey, um, let's, uh, let's, let's take a look at what a partnership at retail looks like. And of course, uh, part of the excitement of this conversation is letting people know that we are are going to be uh, at Mind Body Project, and you can choose your mindset uh, on Seventh Avenue, on one of the busiest streets, literally in the world. Uh, and so, I know a lot of uh, a lot of our audience is traveling up and down Seventh Avenue every day. So, uh, this is an incredible opportunity uh, to not only uh, check out the studio, but to now choose your mindset IRL. 
Uh, you don't have to wait for shipping. You can go right in there and choose your mindset. So that's super exciting. Um, I just wanted to make sure that we mentioned that. Yes, and we met because of Kate Kerner. She's making little hearts. We have to give Kate a oh, little Kate she, She's somewhere. She's ever present. She, she is. is. She is. <laughs> I love that. She is. She's like the momager we all, we all need in our lives. Oh, 100%. Um, but, but yeah, back, back to the partnership. I mean, I, I think it was always kind of a, a, a seamless integration between you guys and with us i think that we target a very similar audience um it, it's it's someone who you know takes their personal wellness and personal care you know seriously it's something that they take pride in and they they look for you know not just fitness not just meditation not just cbd products they're thinking about things holistically so you know i couldn't have thought of a better partner than you guys considering we are after the the same, the same type of people. Exactly. Uh, that's exactly it. You. That's exactly it. And that's was, you know, that's why it makes such perfect sense. You know, the whole idea was giving options, right? Giving people choices, right? Give them all these different ways. You can choose how you want to feel, right? And there's not just one way. There's a variety of ways. And when you combine them, they really amplify each other. Right, like in, in the CBD business, we talk about the entourage effect of a lot. You know, it's when you use the full spectrum CBD and terpenes and it creates this wellness. But in a bigger sense, the combination of CBD plus meditation plus the, the interval training and the whole set and setting, that's this big entourage effect that really can have this incredible benefit to your wellness. And, and I've seen it, it's amazing. And so uh, we're so happy to be there and I hope everybody uh, goes and supports this activation because it's really exciting. It is. Um, now you made this studio and did all of this stuff and you did this through the pandemic. Like, <laughs> was this yep. before, like what's the timeline? Yeah, so so we were supposed to open um, doors in May of 2020, but then March happened, which, you know, of course, COVID touched down here in the States, and um, we were forced to kind of play a waiting game because we were ready to open um, for the most oh, you part. Were, it, it was all done, like the studio was finished. It, it was mostly done because, you wow. know, in March, we were, we were, what, two months out from launch. So, yeah, we were, we were just, you know, wrapping things up, and... Uh, yeah, we, we had to play the waiting game. We had to be very patient and very um, adaptable. And we eventually opened doors in May of 2021, um, which was one year after when we had plans. Um, so it's been a, it's been a journey. Um, I think if nothing else, it, is, it has shown me and it has shown my team who are all fantastic um, that you really need to mm -hmm. kind of roll with the punches, be adaptable, um, and just think, think on your feet. Um, because there's been so many different um, protocols and mandates and changes uh, throughout the time that we've been open. Um, but I think it makes us stronger as a team, to be honest with you. Um, it, it really brought everyone together. And it allowed us all to think and problem solve and ask questions amongst each other, which I think just strengthens our kind of internal bond. Yeah, and it shows. I mean, it really shows that your team is amazing. You, you, you're just family. It's a family. It yeah. really is. And like you welcome us into that family and we're so happy to be a part of it. Oh my God. Yeah, it's just, listen, you know, we've been doing this a long time. You, when you see leadership in action, you know what it looks like. It's, it's simple, right? Leading isn't yelling, leading isn't screaming, leading is yelling calmly and coolly from, from a place of strength, even when you don't feel necessarily that strong. And, 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 that's, and that's, you know, that's what leadership is. And, and you've, you've got that, you've got the leadership mindset. And that's why your team follows you through, through the fire. And they trust that you know what's going to go and what's going to happen when none of us know what's going to happen. <laughs> right? But yeah. I do this, we do the same thing. It's our job to make sure that we inspire the people around us. Why? Because it makes them better at what they're doing. And what they're doing is for us, ultimately, and for the customers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I, th I think that, you know, having something like, like the pandemic that we kind of emerged from, um, it, it, it just got us thicker skin, I think. You know, it really, it really helped us to now we, we see, we look at problems in a totally different light because we've dealt with so many already, so many challenges. Um, so, you know, if, uh, 
if there are things now in the in the present day that that are you know going going sideways a little bit like it's not a we've been desensitized a bit to uh, having to think on our feet and, and make changes in real time i agree i agree with you i think that you know people like like yourself and like us to be honest really got we were beginning to wake up and the pandemic really awakened us even further but i would tell you that to some extent a lot of people at least that i've come in contact with uh, went the opposite direction you know they've reverted uh back and they feel so entitled and they feel so frustrated and they feel so angry and they take it out on so many things and so many people around them and you've got this really this this dichotomy between how the pandemic uh you know uh, sort of gave birth to your consciousness uh, for what it is now, right? And you either got much deeper and you were able to see things much clearer or you became, you know, much more frustrated. And it's... You know what that means is you need to go do a class. You need to go meditate <laughs> and you need to take CBD. Um, otherwise, we're muting you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah no, Renee there's... wants to ratio and cancel. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but to your point, John, like, there's certainly like an amplification component to the entire pandemic where it's like some things were just really exacerbated and it depends on where you're focusing your attention and your time. And, and uh, you know, for a lot of people, it, it wasn't on the right things. A lot of people got out of their personal care routines um, and f for good reason. I mean, of course, it's like de this derailed so much of, of people's um, access and ability to to be healthy, their healthiest self. Um, so I, I think there is still some work to do in terms of getting people back into a routine. But I think slowly but surely, you know, fingers crossed, knock on all, all the wood that we're headed in the right direction. Yeah, I yeah, love that. I love yeah. that too, hundred percent. But I also see that some people, like for me anyway, I you know, focus more on my health. I, you know, started really focusing on what I was feeding my kids and what we were eating as a family and, you know, spending that time together and caring about each other, doing all. Right, no, no. I, I think to Chris's point that it was, it was an amplification. So right. if you were prone to wanting to do that, I think that you really, really leaned into that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think yeah, if you I were see. prone to not, I think you were really pushing against it and probably very frustrated at this point. So. Uh... Oh, Chelsea's there. Hey, Charles. <laughs> she has the boot in the house. Um, so let me ask you a question. As somebody uh, who really appreciates design uh, and somebody who has also done a lot of DIY in the sense of creating the packaging myself for the brand, what was your thought process in creating this space, it, which is so remarkably special and beautiful? Uh, uh, I just wanted to give people a little sense of what it is. So you, you come off of the incredibly busy 7th Avenue between 22nd and 23rd Street. And you walk into this space, and it's a nice little uh, open space. And then you go into what is like another dimension. It's just like this most beautiful, uh, there's lights that are embedded inside the floors. It's just, it's hard to imagine. It's hard to explain. So what was the vision behind that? Because it, it's, so, it's so special. Yeah, so I wanted to create a space that was, that both had like the softness that meditation kind of imbues, and then has the um, the energetic feel that that is required to do a high intensity interval training workout. So finding that balance was always kind of the the challenge for us. But you know the the common areas outside of the studio, as you both know, is a little bit more like zen, mm -hmm. um, a little bit more actually residential feeling, which is something that. I kind of looked at from a design perspective and I wanted to make a priority. I hadn't seen that done before. Like we have, we have an art partnership with it, with a company called Artstar that furnished us completely. So I think there are certain little touches that make it feel unique um, and special. And then once you get inside the physical studio itself, as you said, John, like we have the, the LED strip lights in the floor. Um, we have wood floors with, um, with mats built into the floor, completely integrated and, and flattened. Um, so we have some cool design elements um, that I think are very much our identity now. Um, I think that they match what the experience is inside the studio, which is 
very tranquil and peaceful, but also going to kick your ass in terms of a, <laughs> a, a high intensity interval workout. Yeah. yeah, no, I remember when I first walked into the studio, like the studio part, I was like, I was a little intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> I can but understand. It was. It was like because I never did um, hit before. I never did that, sure. and it was. But I mean, I'm blown away by the instructors, by the class. I mean, I, I'm addicted. Like I just can't get enough of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's unbelievable. It really yeah. is An yeah. intense workout, but like you get that break in the middle, and the beginning, and the end. It's really, it's yep. amazing. Yeah, totally. We, we always we always talk about it like we want to show you your most tranquil and peaceful moment of the day and also your most exhausted and physically, you know, uh, physically challenged moment of the day as well. So Yeah, <laughs> yeah man, I've been awesome. there. <laughs> but you leave feeling incredible. So oh, absolutely. Who is inspiring you right now? Who, who are you looking to that's giving you inspiration? Honestly, I'd have to say my team, um, my instructors and I, we have like a very special relationship that I will never, ever minimize or take for granted. Um, they are so um, involved with the decision making that we do inside of Mind Body Project. They're passionate. They love to help people and see people mm -hmm. grow inside of our format. Um, so like they're inspiring to me every single day, whether they know it or not. Um, mm. But we, we really operate as a team um, and it's something I'm super proud of. Uh, they're, they, they want to make Mind Body Projects the best possible experience that it can be. And you can see how much they care, which is everything you could ever ask for if you're in my position. Oh, hundred percent. No, that you have an incredible. I mean, everybody on this, this, the team is unbelievable. And the thing is, what's so cool is, you know, uh, you, you won't brag about it, but I will. Is you get some very, you know, you get some very high profile people that come to the come to the place, right? You know, influencers sure. and television <clears throat> personalities and stuff like that. But for some reason, at your place, they're just so cool. Everybody's just so chill and relaxed, and just everybody's just like totally down for just like relaxing and just sharing and you know choosing our mindset so it's more than just a place to experience this class it's like a place where people are coming to just sort of find people of like mind it's yes. very cool yeah um <clears throat> i i completely agree I, I remember going into this whole you know opening of mind body project thinking that a big um, uh, part of my time management was going to be spent like dealing with, you know, customers and people who have requests or complaints or this and that. It, it literally like barely ever happens. It, like the, the people that we have inside our studio are so cool for the most part yeah. and really appreciate what we're doing. And I think it kind of speaks to the concept a little bit. Like mm -hmm. if you're someone who, you know, wants an amazing workout but also you understand that you want that little bit of mental wellness too that meditation portion if that's a priority for you i think that it's um it's disarming for people and i think that it creates a certain intimacy and appreciation for you know the concept at large and what we're looking to deliver so for the most part we get we get people who are just by signing up <laughs> i always think about like just by signing up for class, you're, it's an admission of like, I want to work on myself in more ways than one, in, than one you know? Yes, yeah, that's I exactly like that. right. And, and the, right. Yeah. Just said community. It's community, and yep. it is. It's all community. It's the whole thing. Totally. Yeah. And, and we, have a, we have a really special one. It's been, yeah. you know, we, we have people who have, who have been coming since day one when it was six feet social distance and limited capacity and masks on and they've stuck with us forever and again i think that speaks to to the team that we have in place um and how you know personal and special they make it feel for everyone um and just from the uh, the concept um as a whole i think that you know people really think that what we're doing is a little bit different which i, I think it is too 
Yeah. Yeah. It is. I do too. It is remarkable. It is unbelievable. Uh, I cannot, uh, obviously, listen, we've given it uh, our stamp of approval by saying uh, we want our products uh, in your door. You know, that's where we, we think this is such an amazing, exciting idea. Uh, and I've seen it. I've seen it in person. I've seen people come out of these classes and you just you see it. I mean, so to my audience, uh, to the mindset audience, uh, get to Mind Body Project, uh, take a class, uh, come in. Uh, we have samples of Mindset. There's some other great brands that are hanging out as well. Um, so come on in. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth your while. You probably walk past the suit and even realize it uh, on your way to Penn Station. Um, but it is. Uh, <laughs> true. No, I'm telling you, of course it's true. And the weather's getting nicer. Everybody's going to start walking again. So now is your perfect time. I didn't. Um, we didn't ask Chris about his CBD experience or anything like. Oh, that. sorry. Mm. We didn't. We didn't ask you anything okay. about CBD yet. Right. I mean, we got to ask you. <laughs> yes, like, we're going to try you. CBD before. What's been your journey? Well, you you guys introduced me to CBD, so my my journey starts with mindset wellness. Um, and uh, you know, I have certain combinations that I like to to use. Um, my my go to during the daytime is happy and focus. Um, and then at nighttime, of course, it's a little, little calm and rest. Um, so th those combinations work for me. I know that you guys also have this recovery, um, line that I actually haven't had the opportunity to try yet, but I look forward to it. Um, but yeah, it's, you guys make incredible products. Absolutely. That, that fit right in line with what we do at, at Mind Body Project. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And that, by the way, that's my go-to as well. Happy and focus in the morning, yes. calm and rest. And focus evening. works, Kate Kerner. And yes, Kate Kerner, Perfect. focus does work. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kate's go-to, but she does love the rest at night. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I do too. So everybody, uh, as I said, thank you so much, Chris, for coming on. Get down to Mind Body Project. There's a variety of reasons why you should go for yourself. With what's going on in the world, take care of yourself right now. It is so important if you want to be good good for the people around you, you have to be good to yourself first. So you have to take care of yourself. And we have some really great ways at Mind Body Project to help you do that. Um, yes, I love that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you of so course, much. Renee, Every John, time. really appreciate you having me on. And uh, yeah. so thanks for being great partners, of course. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Take care, guys. Thank, Wayne, thank you for being so out of control. <laughs>